And we begin with new information in the search for six-year-old Isabel Salas in Tucson. Within the last 30 minutes, we have learned from police that they will work with Isabel's family to let them back into their home today. Police did finish a second search of the home while you were sleeping, based off evidence discovered by the two FBI dogs. But at this time, police are not telling us exactly what that evidence is. ABC 15's Brian McElhatton is live in Tucson on the ground covering this for you. And Brian, investigators just picked up their search at the landfill in the last few minutes, and they're going to announce their next step soon, we understand. That's right, Connie. At 7 o'clock this morning, the investigators will meet in a group and they will talk about their plan of action for today, where they will begin searching for this little girl and how the investigation will proceed. Now, let's back up to the very beginning. On Friday, we know this little girl went missing sometime between 11 p.m. Friday and 8 a.m. Saturday when she reportedly vanished from her bedroom, what should have been a sanctuary, now the center of a police investigation. There was one search warrant on that house. Police went through. They searched for things. Then yesterday, because of, of something that an FBI dog picked up in the home, you can see them searching this home right now. Uh, the FBI dog alerted to something. Police aren't telling us what it is, but it caused them to seek a second search warrant. A judge granted that search warrant. They went through that house for a number of hours and searched it, took a number of things out. They also looked in the trunk of a car that was parked right next to the home. It's unclear exactly who the car belonged to. We believe a family member. Uh, unclear what they received from that trunk of the car, but certainly they did pull things out of it. Also, another focus of this investigation is the landfill not far from here. Uh, we're told investigators aren't looking for anything specific at the landfill, but they're under orders to look for anything suspicious. And having covered the Jesse Shockley case, I can give you some insight here, Connie. A lot of people don't know this. The trash that you throw out of your house, it can be tracked. Basically, the trash was picked up on Saturday here and taken to the landfill. Uh, police know, by talking with the waste management company, they know what truck picked up that trash. They know what bin that trash was placed in. And that landfill is split up into different sections. They can tell you where that bin was dumped in the landfill. So they have it to a specific area, several yards by several yards across. And you'll have investigators digging through that, much like they're doing uh, in the valley right now. And they're searching for anything that may be suspicious, although they say they have no specific evidence that anything is there. Of course, we will keep our eyes on that all day for you, Connie. Updates every two hours here, and we will bring them to you as new information becomes available. Brian, they seem to be covering a lot of ground, lots of different areas there with the car, the landfill, the house, the neighborhood. But at this point, no specific persons of interest or suspects named, correct? That's exactly right. In fact, we asked, is anyone in the family considered a suspect? Any neighbors? There are a number of uh, sexual uh, predators that live in the area, people convicted of those offenses. They say absolutely no one being named a suspect at this point, but they're not ruling anybody out. This is, an, again, very early stages of the investigation. Police can't even tell you if this is a homicide, a kidnapping, or a runaway case. They simply don't know, and they're leaving, they're, uh, leaving everything open so they can cover all of the bases. And hopefully, we'll start to get some sense of focus in the coming hours or the coming days. Connie. All right. Brian McElhatton, live on the scene for you, gathering more information throughout the morning. And count on us to keep you informed on the search for little Isabel. We'll have live updates throughout the day and this afternoon right here on ABC 15.